I read now a beautiful book about a cantor from Switzerland. He's also a rabbi, but he was calling himself a cantor. Today all the cantors call themselves rabbi. He was a rabbi that called himself a cantor. Why? It was two generations ago. People used to have, you know, more modesty and they were humble. So he, his name was Rabbi Berkowitz. And uh, it's very interesting because, you know, he, he was giving lectures and one woman in Switzerland, she asked him, if you are the Jews, you are so sure that you have the truth, why don't you have thousands or hundreds of thousands of missionaries going to spread your truth all over the world and make the whole world religious Jews like you, you claim it's the truth? So he answered her, he told her, uh, Patek Philippe does not have any advertisement and no salespeople. <laughs> Just a week ago I didn't know what Patek Philippe is. But I asked my wife's uncle, he's selling watches. He came to me for Sukkot, for the first Yom Tov. And every time he comes, he has a different watch, you know, because he sold the previous one, so now he puts another one to show off. This is a part of his job. So I asked him, what's the best watch in the whole world? I was sure he's going to tell me, Rolex, you know, one of the famous ones. So he told me that name. I never heard that before. He told me, oh, that could be $200,000. What is An amazing price. So I found out. What's the best watch in the world? A Swiss watch, Patek Philippe. Why did I find out? Because three days later, somebody gave me a book, and I was reading it in a second hug of Sukkot, and he told her, you know, she asked, why don't you have missionaries running to hunt Christians to become Jews? So he told her, the best watch in the world, they don't need advertisement. Once people realize that it's the best, the world will spread around. What do we have to prove? We have to run after you to prove to you that we have the truth. Stay what you are. You know, anyway, the door is not completely open. Judaism is the only religion that is not a missionary religion. All the other ones are doing everything they can to bring more members. You know, even an elephant, he wanted to join the Jews. One time the Jews are in a shul, they see a big elephant is coming, trying to get through the door. But you know, the door is small in the shuls. This big elephant, he got stuck a little bit. So they asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to join your minion. So they told him, ah, don't, don't walk too hard. Look, across the street you have a church. Look what a huge door they have. One, two, three, and you're in. Don't have to push. <laughs> so he told them, are you joking? With a nose like mine, you want me to go over there? <laughs> <laughs> I belong here, you know. They used to make fun of the Jews that they have big noses. So the elephant with a nose like mine, you want me to go to the chair? I gotta go to the synagogue. <laughs>